Hi everyone, it's Tech Dad, and last week it was Oculus Connect 6, and it was a great week for the Quest, and not so a great week for the Rift S. In that conference, Oculus announced the Oculus Link, which is simply the fact that it's a software update for the Quest, where you will be able to plug it to a PC, and it will be emulated like a Rift. It will be able to play all the Rift game on Steam VR, iRacing, whatever. It will be seen, if you like, as a Rift. Oculus will sell a special cable for that, for 80 bucks, which is fiber optic. And they say that it could also work with any good USB 3 cable. So we will see when the software will be released in November if the community can find a good cable at a good price on Amazon, for example. So a lot of people were upset for buying the Rift And the second blow that was thrown at the Rift was the end tracking. Oculus has shown at the conference that they are working very hard on end tracking using the Oculus Quest inside out tracking system. But they haven't confirmed that it will work also on the Rift and that's not sure that it will ever be a function of the Rift Personally, I'm not that excited about the end tracking for one simple reason. It's a cool tech demo, don't, don't get me wrong, it's... I want to try that. But building interesting games around that without any button and even if you have your end and you want to pick something up in a game, it's strange to pick something if you have nothing in your hands. It's not that better than having controllers, but I think we will have access to new experiences that it's difficult to have with a controller. So it's a good thing for VR, that's for sure. But the real question here is, is the Rift dead? That's the big question. Should you buy a Rift And the truth, it really depends on who you are and what are your needs. If you already bought a Rift in the past, in May for example at launch, it's certainly frustrating that you didn't know at the time that only four months later you could have bought this and play the same VR games. It should have been said just four months ago that they were working on that feature. But then people would not have bought the Rift maybe. But one thing you have to remember, if you bought the Rift, it was to play PC VR games. And you were happy with the performances to play PC VR games, it will still be good when they will release the Oculus Link. I mean, nothing has changed. You will have the same experience. And the truth is that the Oculus Rift will still be the best PC VR headset sold by Oculus. This will not be better. It will be better for people that can't use the Rift because of the lack of IP adjustment. Simply don't forget that Oculus has to make some magic trick to make this work okay with a PC using only a USB cable. The bandwidth is not the same as when you are using the display port and the USB cable for, for the communication data. And that's the truth. So from the experiences that people seems to have at the conference, it will be a very good solution on the Oculus Quest. But I don't think it will be on par with what you will be getting with the Rift And also don't forget that the Rift is a much more comfortable headset. So there's pros and cons to both headset. So it's not like we have to trash the Rift today. It's the same headset as a week ago. Having said that, if you are just slightly interested in the mobility of the Quest and just the fact that you don't have any cable to play a game like Beat Saber for example, in that case I would advise you to wait, to wait before buying a Rift to see if this truly replaces it, even with the compromises, and then the Quest might really be the better buy for your money. And if in the end you still decide to buy a Rift, it's still time to wait a little bit. You might have some sales discount at Black Friday or on Boxing Day. So there's no hurry right now to buy a Rift. But I understand fully, however, that 
people are frustrated by having bought boat headsets at launch, for example, or simply by having chosen the Rifes over the Quest because they, they were more interested in PCVR, but they still wanted the Quest, but they didn't have the money to have both. I don't, I don't think it's normal from Oculus to have announced such a decisive function on the Quest only like four months since launch and that's very strange and now we also know they are working on a Wi-Fi solution we don't know if it will be better than the third-party solution that we have right now to play Steam VR game on the Quest but I believe so with all the money they are putting and the, the people that are working on the Quest I think they will finally come with a good solution for Wi-Fi also and I think that's the, the real frustrating part of all this story is the fact that they knew in May that they were working on this. They just didn't want to tell you to confirm it so they could sell the refs. The other truth I think is also that there, there were a lot of controversy around the lack of IPD adjustment on the refs. A lot of people couldn't use it and a lot of people returned the refs because of it and and that's unacceptable for a company like oculus who wants to bring vr to the mainstream you want people to buy the headset and you want them to try it and to love vr at the instant but then it was blurry for some and they didn't they didn't understand why and then you have to measure your ipd to know if you can buy it or not and it was just a stupid decision from Oculus to not include an IPD adjustment on the Refs. And now it's like they have decided to do all in on the Quest so everybody will be able to buy one and to play all the games from the library, PC or Oculus Quest Store. So if you have a Refs already, I mean, you have the right to be frustrated. But if you liked it before, there is no reason not to like it anymore. It's still the best PC VR experience you can get from Oculus. It's not the best headset in the PC VR world, but it's the best one from Oculus that you can get and it's the best value that you can get for PC. But if you are in the process of buying your first headset or from upgrading from the original Rift, for example, I will wait before buying any Rift since it really seems to be the unwanted child they made with Lenovo. The future of VR is clearly not with the Rift for Oculus. This is clear. If you saw the conference, the Oculus Connect 6 conference, they almost didn't talk about the Rift. It was all about the Quest. So if you have to put your money now, I will go with the Quest for sure. But the Refs is not dead for now. Please think about subscribing to my little channel. Please comment below. Are you frustrated? Did you buy a Refs? Did you buy a Quest? What will you do? Please enjoy my French accent. It was Tech Dad. See you next time. Ciao!